start. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it, and they are safe. In this present situation in the whole world, there's no better place to run to than the house of God. I don't know where you've been running to to hide yourself. No matter where you are hiding, it takes God to protect, to protect you. It takes God to preserve you. It takes God to uphold you. It takes God to sustain you. And the Bible says, for his name is a strong tower. That tower cannot, nothing can penetrate through that tower. No matter how strong that jet is, cannot penetrate through that tower. Hallelujah. Because God himself cannot be penetrated. Hallelujah. And this Bible says, we have come here this morning. We have run into this tower Amen. to find security. Amen. We have run into this tower to find protection. Amen. We have run into this tower to find hope. Amen. We have run into this tower to be secure. We are here representing our family, our churches, and our loved ones. Amen. Not only us, America, and the whole world at large. Amen. The world is in crisis. Amen. And there's no better place to go than in the house of the Lord. Amen. We bless you, O oh God, today. We give you praise and we give you glory. We magnify your name, Jehovah. You are worthy of praise, Jesus. You are worthy of worship, Jehovah. We we'll lift our voices to worship you this morning. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, Asian of Days. Thank you, mighty God. We bless your name, Jehovah, today. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We have come to dwell under the secret place of the Most High. Yes, Hallelujah. We have come to dwell under the secret place of the Most High. We have come to hide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's what we have had today. We have come to hide under. And after this encounter, as we step out, we know our lives are immune. We know our lives are protected. We know our lives are secured. Because we cannot come and rock with the Holy Ghost and not go out with this odor, this, this sweet odor, this sweet, this sweet smell, this sweet perfume of the Holy Spirit. We have come to rock with the Holy Spirit. We have come
your surrender. We have no wisdom, but the wisdom of the Most High. So wisdom, 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 help.
You think you are saved. The Bible says, except the Lord, except the Lord, watch is the city. He can watch it, watch it in vain. Those that rest in God, they are the ones that are truly resting. 
because she can't think of anything else. But God, the seat of the throne, is a place of surrender where you rest, where you put everything on Jesus, and He does the work in for you, and you just obey His instruction, and you find yourself on the other side.
where I was fellowshipping with God. He told me, tell them I'm coming.
and almost wanted to hug him, but I could not. He's almost here. He's almost here. Is a sound the alarm? Do not be quiet. Because it's in the last days. I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters, they shall promise. Thank you for the grace to trust. These are the days for the sons and daughters. I strongly believe these are the days for the sons and the daughters. The sons, the true sons and daughters. You can be old, but you're a son. A son in God does not know anything. It's like a little child. You tell them what to do. They only obey the father's instruction. These are the days of the sons and the daughters. The ones that obey his instruction. The ones that listen to him. The ones that has no will but to do the will of him that called them. These are the days of the sons and the daughters. It's not, it's not about age. It's not about age. It's not about age. It's about positioning. As a son and a daughter. A daughter obeys instruction. A son obeys instruction. These are the days of sons and daughters.
thank you for today, God. Thank you for your presence in the room. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your Shekinah glory thank you, Jesus. that brooded over us. Thank you, Holy Ghost, thank you, Jesus. because you are mighty. You are powerful. And there's nothing impossible for you. We love to have intimacy with you. It's called on here. Fellowship. Where God comes and where we gather unto him. It's an altar. An altar of sacrifice. We have sacrificed our time today.
took nothing out of it because I heard the instruction. There's a realm. It's not just by songs. It's truly a place of surrender. Death. It takes death men to carry God. Dead men carry God. Dead men. Only dead men can carry God. You can't be alive and carry God. It's not possible. Because you give way to your emotions. But God, I remember one time I was in the homeless shelter in New York and God told me, I said, God, it's my birthday. He said, I don't have sport children. Get up! I'm training you as a soldier. <laughs> People get away with so many things. I can't. All this wanted to distort my future when I was little. Went through molestation, went through all kinds of things. But I stand on the one that held my hands all these years when I didn't know nothing and I still don't know nothing. I choose to know nothing. We must get to the place. Where we fully surrender. It's not a song. It's a realm. It's not a song. It's a realm. When nothing else matters but the one that sits on the throne. For seven months, I gave all my checks. Like you going to work every day, and God said, after that two weeks, that's mine, that's not yours. Seven months I dropped that chain in that basket. Supernaturally, people will come, hey, the Lord told me to give you this chain. The Lord told me to give you this grocery bag. Supernaturally. He was training me. When you know God, He will take you through school. You, you just don't go from no, kindergarten to college. No, we God is a start. Is you and I come? I come 
couldn't call nobody. Nobody knew where I was. I didn't have a phone. New York City, five years in the wilderness. Five. I was wearing clothes from donation place. He didn't allow me to take anything. He said, come with me. And God says, come, we go. It's a truly place of surrender. It's not just words. This song that sang, it was birthed in the secret place. It's the place of surrender. I will sing that song for hours. Just merge in the song. And then God will step in and begin to tell me stuff. It's God. It's all I know. I'm a child before him. But the more you come closer, the more it shows you. So when the world say, that cannot be God doing A, B, C. I said, you don't know God. You heard about him. So, 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 so many of us, we hear about him, but we don't know him. Because if we truly know God, there's an oil that people can smell. Ah, oh, she knows God. There's something about you. Ah, you will know. Those that know, know. When, you see, when I see my brother, the first day I listened to Apostle Selma, I said, this is my brother, I know him. Because this journey and my journey, the same. I'm like, hey, my elder, you've been ahead of me before. Because everything is been through, I'm just, I'm coming right behind you. No, God, it's like, you see someone like, ah, this is exactly like my journey. The only one that also saw in the Bible was Paul. When he was narrating what he went through as an apostle, I said, ah, that's exactly me. Some days, no food. Some days, no meat. Nothing. No clothes. That's why till now, I don't know how to eat meat like that. Because I've been without meat for years. If you put meat in my food, it doesn't matter. If you are eating, it doesn't matter. For some people, they can't do that meat. Too. Hey, it's war. <laughs> like my husband, it's war. Hey! Where is my mother? Me, I've been there. Nothing matters to me. He says, you, you can eat anything. I can eat anything. If it's biscuits, I'll eat biscuits. I'll drink water. I'm fine. When we go on journey and there's nothing to eat, I can. Perfect. Because God has trained me. It's a training ground. It's difficult to. But the other side is glory. And that's the glory that everybody sees. And they want, but they don't like the dark side. That dark side is where they want. In the wilderness was where I birthed my book. Was where I birthed so many things. I love that place so much. When it was over, I'm like, ah, I think I should go back. Because, you know, I didn't have a phone. All I had was the Bible. No distraction. Just you and your God all day, all night. You don't know what's going on around the world. Yet you just you you see Jesus playing with you. You are laughing on the bed. You're like, what's wrong with this person? It's going crazy. And you're laughing. You're enjoying him. Huh? The beautiful place. I wish the world knew this God like this. It's a beautiful God. So we're going to run today's home. And my sister is going to pray us out. My sister, don't look down too much. <laughs> I'm going to pray us out. <laughs> As the Spirit leads you. But I just want us to get closer. Just press it more. As we leave here, and I know we, we are more into here, but let's go deeper. Because you can never see an end. The day you get satisfied with his presence, you stop growing. You can never stop growing. The child, children don't ever stop growing. They keep growing. 
Even if they are 50, your child is your child. Even if they are 70, your child is your child. The mommy, mommy, you, there's still something about you. So, that's your child. So we can never outgrow our father. Amen. Let God's sister come and lead us out. <sighs>
please help us in this journey that even as you will return, Lord, please don't let us be a cast today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that we will say thank you. We love you, Jesus. I thank you. It's a grace to know you. That is a privilege to know you. I'm eternally grateful, Lord. I'm eternally grateful, Lord, that you saved me by your grace. You patiently waited for me to return. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the praise for today. We honor you. We adore you. Thank you for what you've done in our midst. Thank you for many things you're still going to do. Thank you because you will help us to know you more and more. Thank you because we will remain your child, Lord. We will remain a baby in your hands. We will remain a baby in your hands that you continue to carry. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To you be all the glory, Daddy. To you be all the honor, Lord. To you be all the adoration. In Jesus' most precious name, we are praying. Thank you.